What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my place for today's eight game main slate. Today is the 28th of January. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if new or supporting the channel. I appreciate the love. Press that bell icon so you always stay notified for new videos. Let's jump right into it, y'all. Going with the point guard slot for today. Definitely like some Kyle Lowry here. Going against ATL, the 234 implied total. One of the highest, highest totals in this play for today. 73 on FanDuel, 72 on DraftKings. Yes, please, as ATL is the worst team overall but 24th against the position Kyle Lowry is an amazing spot here as you can see he has great potential with some good ceiling plays he had a 43 at 59 in the last five games against ATL so something you want to consider here yes he had a 28 last game but he did have a 53 two games ago so you see potential upside in this spot here especially going against ATL and it's a fast pacing game for Toronto as ATL is 103.4 to their 100.4 in pace Another guy to look into is Eric Bledsoe. You know, we just found out the news that Giannis will be out. So this gives a huge boost for Eric Bledsoe here against Washington as they have 244.5 implied total, which is ridiculous. It just seems like there's going to be no defense involved in this play. So 5,800, sign me up here on FanDuel. But he's still looking at a great play at, at 6,300 at, I'm sorry, 6,600 on DraftKings, so a great play regardless of a 29.9 projection, but he should give you a great upside here. As you can see, he had a 51 last game against Washington, a 49 in the last two games against them. Just came off that 40 fantasy point game in only 31 minutes last game, and a 23rd against opposing point guards, and a 29th overall as well. So those are two great spots for point guards in this play for today. All right, let's look into our next spot in shooting guards. Shooting guards are like Bradley Beal. You know, yes, he he was going through it with the Kobe news and a lot of, I mean, just a lot of players in general. But he's in a good spot here against Milwaukee. You know, there's no defense, in my opinion, in this play. As he, he been balling. He had 38 minutes last game and 53 fantasy point game. He had 50 last game against Milwaukee, a 34, a 59, 41 in the last four games. Showing potential upside here. And he had 53 and a 57 in the last three games so somebody you definitely consider here in this great play against Milwaukee if you want to pay up in this play another guy you can look into for some savings let's go down this list I like Dante DiVincenzo is in a good spot 4,500 on FanDuel but 4,300 on DraftKings this gives another bumping usage without um without uh, Giannis, so it's a great spot for him in the 23rd against the position, and he's cheap. You know, he's already a five, uh, five times value play against Washington. Like I said, it's also a great pace in game as Milwaukee's 104.6 to Washington's 102.8. So somebody consider here for a cheaper play to help with your lines as well. All right, let's look into another good play is Delon Wright. 4,200 on FanDuel, 41 on DraftKings against Phoenix. A 226 implied total here. He's been doing great in the last few games, y'all. He had 35 last game, 27, 24 in the last three games. He had a 39, 18, a 20 in the last three against Phoenix. But he's showing some upside here, and we know that right now, Zingas is uh, questionable. So if he's out, this gives another great bump in usage for DeLon right here at a great cheap upside play, in my opinion. Somebody could definitely considered at this spot for today all right let's look into our next spot at our small forwards all right going to the small forwards i like pasco siaco man 7600 still too cheap on fandle knowing the upside against atl all right but he is 8k on DraftKings, but nonetheless still a great play in my opinion had that 50 last game 36 42 in the last three games 32 50 63 32 35 in the last five games you can see he has a, a potential 60 burger uh with the ceiling play against atl so they're 28th against small forwards and siakam's in a smashing spot here somebody could definitely consider at this play especially at this price tag on fandle the good play is tobias harris at 7400 on both platforms going against golden state he had 31 35 i mean 40 Five, 38 37 he's just got great a floor against golden state with this price tag he's projected a 35.8 projection he's more likely his floor is around 35 so if he could give us a potential 45 here i like this play a lot for twice Harris. right now uh, Embiid is questionable but we gotta look into 
any status if he is going to sit out or not because if you sit out you already know that Tobias get a big bump in usage but of course uh, with him coming back it's going to probably hinder his upside here so he might be like a 35 in my opinion in this play all right let's go to our power forwards going to the power fours let's look into zion man zion williamson man great slot for him on FanDuel at 6300 already projected at 31.2 projection play with a 4.9 value but he's been crushing it y'all and we're looking into DraftKings as a uh, let's see 7200 on DraftKings. still a great play as cleveland's 28th overall in defense but zion once he came back man he's already a, a fancy point monster averaging 1.44 fancy points per minute on the court y'all so he has great crazy usage already averaging 33 percent usage a game great slot for zion in this play against cleveland another guy I could look into a lot of people might not look at him is draymond green his um even though his matchup sucks against philly he has great potential here he's 5800 on FanDuel, but he is 54 on DraftKings with a 5.1 value play because he's look, looking about 29.6 projection but he has great upside against um, philly he had a 38 48, 37, 53, 59 in the last five games against Philly. Yes, I mean, a lot of those games was when he's with Curry and and uh, tr um, and Clay, but those 38, 40, 38, 48 was recent. So somebody could consider here with a low own, great upside play in my opinion, as they already projected him be a three percent own play. So somebody consider is Draymond Green at power forward. All right. Let's look into our next slot, going to our center plays. There's a lot of value in the center spot, all right? Um, you have Brooke Lopez. He's going to de definitely get a bump in usage with the uh, Giannis News. He's only 5,300 5, on FanDuel, but he's cheaper on DraftKings, looking about uh, 4,800 uh, 4, on DraftKings. Too cheap, man. Knowing that this is a, is a, a high implied total here, he should get a lot of run. And great upside here against Washington as their 28th against opposing centers. And, and it's a great slot overall. Another guy I could look into is Marcus Saul. 5,000 on FanDuel, 49 on DraftKings. These are great value plays on both platforms. Going to get ATL. I think Lynn's probably going to be out again, so they're going to slot in Collins in the uh, center spot. But Marcus Saul is definitely going to get some run time, having to deal with him. So he's in potential play to get that 30, 35 plus in fantasy points. So like the spot for both guys in this play another guy I could look into he's probably gonna be cheap and low on will be mitchell robertson at 4600 but he is for uh, 5k on DraftKings. but going against charlotte you already know how it is for charlotte probably worst team against opposing centers and hopefully if he gets the run gets some minutes he's only been getting around 23 minutes a game but recently he had a 17 and a 22 minute game but this guy fancy point wise a minute is 1.14 face point fantasy points per minute on the court if he gets more minutes he can definitely give you value as you can see lately he had a 38 and 24 in the last two against charlotte so somebody could definitely look into for some savings just those are three guys in in, in the center spot already you could look into savings to help with your lines y'all so these are my plays so far for today if you like the plays give a thumbs up any questions or concerns with your lines comment below or check me out on my twitter at millerama for any updates with my plays especially with the injury news and we got certain guys that's going to sit uh, in, remem in remembrance of Kobe Bryant. So we got to look into that as well. So if you want access to my player pool, click the link in the description. Sign up. Once you sign up, you have access to the NBA cheat sheet. Give you the best plays of the slate without doing research. You got the sleepers and your studs to watch players. Get access to your player pool. And you'll see Watch Mel's DFS picks button up top for either DraftKings or FanDuel. Plus, once you go to the lineup optimizer to generate your lineups, you have access to click on the GPP or cash selection to make those great lines for your tournaments, y'all. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mental DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I see y'all in the next video.